Hello, welcome. Uh, good morning. I'll just have a cup of tea, as you, as always, of course. You've noticed we've got a change of backdrop today. We're inside the greenhouse. Not that it's not. It's beautiful, sunny and warm outside, and it's very early again. Lovely blue skies. It was a bit chilly last night. And, uh, well, if you wait to the end of the video today, there's a special surprise at the end. I'll attach something that I did last night, just for a bit of a laugh. And uh, you can see what I got up to in the pitch black on my allotment. I'll leave that hanging there for a moment. Now inside the greenhouse, lots of things happening. Uh, I'm sure you know what happens. Things start to grow. Look at those, they're tomato plants. They need thinning out, obviously. I've planted them too close to each other. Because, um, of course, you think, oh, I'll put one or two in, in the hope that they do grow. And then uh, I planted some more uh, peas to keep them, obviously, pop them outside. Well, they're shooting up, look at those. They're really, really strong. These now need to start going outside to harden up so that I can pop them outside. And what I tend to do is I pop those in the spaces where there's nothing else growing so you can have a little pea, a couple of peas together and build a little frame around them so when they grow up, they can climb up the trellis and uh, have a wonderful time in the lawn. Now here, uh, you can see behind me, we have, well, let's talk you through it, a tomato plant. These are nice ones, they're uh, unusual, they're yellow tomatoes. Really, really beautiful, tasty, sweet. Uh, not not big tomatoes, not the very small ones, but the ones in between, medium size. This little thing in the middle, bless him, that's one of our cucumber plants. And here we have a pepper, a sweet pepper. So hopefully that'll come up. I must be, admit, I've not had much success with peppers in the past, uh, but they're too tempting to need a lot of water. But I've started it early this year, so fingers crossed we won't run out of season. And now we're in the greenhouse, which is even better. Uh, we've got lots of seeds here, look. Can you see those? That's how we were tilting time. Look at all those. We have tomatoes and lots of lettuce. And more, more and more on this side, because I mean, it's growing all sorts around here. Lots of tomatoes here, look, three tomatoes here. Uh, over there we've got uh, more cucumbers, sunflowers in the distance, and uh, we've got our our lovely, lovely sprouts. These are ready to plant out, they've been hardening off for the last few weeks. Now, when you're going outside, if you see like this, look, it's dying off, don't panic, just uh, nip it off. I'll get some cutters, uh, because you want them to grow nice and tall, and have a lovely um, the sprouts on the top end. So you don't want the leaves at the bottom, so take the leaves off as it grows and uh, it'll develop nice, small, juicy, beautiful sprouts ready for uh, early autumn, really. Well, I hope all's going well with you. And uh, as I said earlier, there's a little surprise at the end of this video. Uh, have a wonderful day and uh, we'll continue planting. And uh, well, if you... Anybody want some more peas? Loads of peas knocking around. I have started adding uh, tomato food to some of the tomato plants, but I also generally use it actually in, in all my uh, watering. And uh, well, have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, hopefully I'll see you again. Have a nice time. Thanks for visiting and see you soon. Bye bye. Hello. Um, there's a very unusual post tonight, but I thought I should do one at, at night. And uh, let's look at the sky. Yeah, it's pitch black. Why am I in the allotment at night? Well, we're on slug watch. Yep, this is what we have to do when you've got any growing things outside. Uh, we're looking for slugs, snails, anything that can eat our plants. Luckily, I think it's so dry today that I, I've not found any, so let's have a quick look. See if we can see anything. See anything down there? It's not a lot. I think we're all right. I think uh, everything's escaped. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy this. Um, oh, by the way, we don't um, kill our slugs, as you know. We put them in a box and we take them into the woods and deposit them there. Uh, people say you can put beer down, beer traps, but what a waste of beer. You can buy slug pallets, but they're difficult because um, hedgehogs. We don't uh, get the hedgehogs, do we? So we just try and natural things. We've got the eggshells down, we've got all those things happening. So just be natural and be out here and spend an hour or two. It's better, obviously, when it's been raining, because that's when they come out better than a dry night like tonight. Well, I want to do a few more minutes and uh, look for the satellites. About the satellites coming over tonight. So enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll uh, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs>